What's up everybody, it's Daydreams, and I'm back. Hope you enjoyed that Ancient Battlefield video. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and look at the Hero Palace. It's a new building inside the game, and it's going to serve a very big purpose. And there's some really um, strange things with it that we should probably talk about. So, let's go ahead and go to the Hero. So, this is Bernard the Exploiter. Now, as you can see, you can hit this, and it'll tell you all these things. He doesn't have anything yet, okay? Um, he's got actually, I think, troop load, because I started on that. Let's see, 6%, I saw it. Uh, building speed, 5%, and troop load, 6%, right there, okay? So you go to the talent, and it's just like the regular skills. You could do development, support, combat. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do mining combat. As you can see, you can get um, infantry health, infantry defense, wielding the whip. Bernard is wielding the whip like crazy. He just went to please the king. He just, what? This is some kinky stuff. Read this. Bernard is wielding the whip like crazy. He just wants to please the king. Building speed increased. Is he whipping the king? Is the king a little kinkster? Like into that like uh, 50 shades of gray with Bernard? That's some weird stuff, man. I don't know who put that. We're going to ignore, <laughs> we're going to ignore that wielding the whip. That's uh, that's really kinky. Okay. Infantry attack, of course, all the cavalry, siege, archer. So it's pretty similar, except... Oh, no. He's he's wielding the whip again. We're going to ignore it again. So it's kind of similar to the regular stuff. Oh, wow. Once every 24 hours, you can get a million wood. Not bad. I bet that king would love a million woods. Man. And Bernard's spanking him at the same time. That's ridiculous. Okay, guys. So right there is wielding the whip. Um, that's one of the skills. And then crazy research. So those are like um, the skill sets. Here's where it gets a little bit weird, guys. Okay. Um, so apparently the king isn't happy with old Bernard spanking his booty. He really wants your experience. So you have to use your own experience to uh, to unlock this stuff. So 300 XP for the first level. So we're going to use these, these 500s. Let's just use one. We're already at level two. So now we're at level three. Um, I've been actually not using my experience. We're already at level 9, see? So look at all the talents we got. Wow, I wish I would have done this before. Um, I wish I would have done this before we got into the battlefield. We're getting all these talents. We just pleased the king. Oh, God. Alright, um, we're going to go ahead and go straight into archer attack. Now we got five more archer attack. And we probably still got, yeah, we got six more talents. So... Um, it uses your experience, guys. So, here's, here's what, here's, I'm gonna give you my strategy on this, okay? Now, let me know what level your, your lord level is, okay? Because this is very important. Now, if you're like, if you're below level 43, I don't think it's a good idea to use it. Because you need that level 43 equipment. I would just, like, get it up a little bit. Um, like, okay. So, here's where the strategy comes in. So, as you upgrade your palace, you're gonna get more hero slots as, as well. So, right now... There's two, you can then get three, four, and all the way up to five hero slots by upgrading your hero palace. Now, here's where strategy comes into it, like, what, how much of your experience should you put into this? Um, into this, uh, booty whipper, the exploiter, um, you know, you're gonna be able to add equipment on them as well. It depends what your lord level is. If you're a lord level 43, I would put all of that into it, because to me... It's going to give you a lot more faster than um, getting to level 45. And when you do get to 45, guys, um, the dual skill really isn't... I mean, it's great. It's good. And you can do you can exploit it and, um, you know, get some good kills with it. But I think, you know, we just got... All, let's just add it up, okay? Just with that little bit of experience, you know, a couple hundred thousand... Well, probably like, maybe like a million experience. We just got 21 combats. Let's just keep going and see what else. Um, we're just going to go straight down. Okay, we got 26. We got 27 new combat points, guys. Um, and, you know, if you like uh, get to 43 Lord and then just keep donating to this, I think that's what's going to be better. I think you're going to be way better off with what you'll get out of this than what you'll get... You're going to get about 12. You get 6 for each level. Um, once you're up to 43, you get 6 new points. So if I donate 
I could do one of two things, guys. I could try to get to 46 lore, which after 45, you get no more, like, skills or anything. So, um, yeah, there's nothing... You guys, I hope you understand what I'm saying, that once you get to see all these active skills, we haven't even got into those yet. Once you get to, like, a certain lore level, like 43, you don't really need to... I would get this guy basically up to at least, like, the level I've got him at. Um, let's see. We're up to level... Let's go to talent. It isn't saying yet. It, okay, we're up to level 9. I would get him, like, up, you know, some... Because right now it's only taking, like, 44,000 to get it to level 10. Okay? So it's not like it's a ridiculous amount. Um, but once it starts taking a lot, you're going to want to go back to working on your level 43 lord. So, I would focus on getting to level 40 lord first. And then get this up to like 10. I'll come out with a guide and telling you like what to upgrade your Lord level and what to upgrade your hero level. Because they there's going to be a balance there. Like for me, I'm going to upgrade them all the way. So let's go ahead and do that. Hero. We're going to go ahead and we're not going to up. We're not going to use it all. But we're going to use like three of those. And like half of these. Because I because I want to save some for my other heroes as well. Now we're up to 14. We went up five more levels. And we got 20 more talents. So now we're going to have tough shield. Or no, we're going to have more infantry attack. Pretty cool, right? Um, I really want to get down here to these... Uh, look at that archer health. I really want to get down here to this archer damage. That's going to make me very powerful. So that's what I'm going to work on. Um, so we're going to go straight down here. We're going to max out that infantry attack. And now we got more infantry health as well, guys. So... That's my thoughts so far on the Hero Palace. It'll change as I learn more. Let's go ahead and take a look at the um, active skills which aren't here yet. So we got to learn them. Um, the ones to get wood. All people are the fighters. After using it, you will get 1,000 random soldiers. All the people are the fighters. That's awesome if it gives you 1,000 T10 soldiers. That's like, you know, it takes me 9 hours to create 2,000 T10. So it's going to save me like, um, you know, pretty good. Um, cutting military spending after using it troop training consumption minus five percent lasts for an hour So that's pretty cool if you're gonna train a bunch of troops cutting the spending Greed iron you can use it to obtain 200,000 iron. That's amazing 200,000 iron you guys know how long it takes to get that it takes a long time Mobilization after using it troop training amount increased by 1,000 that lasts for an hour. That's pretty cool You can use that right before bed train an extra thousand Greed, Mithril. 50k Mithril. Use it and you get it immediately. So that's all the skills. So there's the hero skills. There's the two combats. There's the two in development. There's the two in support. So pretty cool stuff, guys. And of course, you can switch your skills around. There's going to be a lot you're going to be able to do. Um, we already looked at the combat. Let me just show you while I can the development. It's pretty similar. They pretty much, you know, copied them. They added some new things. Mixed some things up. You can go ahead and take a look at all this stuff, guys. You're going to be able to get your monster march speed even faster. Look at this. You could be marching so fast on monsters with this, guys. It'll really be cool with monster events and stuff. And if they can stop the botters, I think they're going to go back to unlimited monster attacking. So, it'll be pretty cool when you get the equipment on these guys as well, guys. It's a big part of the game. Make sure you get it upgrading. Um, you know, if you're not a level 30 yet, at least, I wouldn't allocate too many resources to upgrading it. I would just allocate your experience to upgrading your hero. Okay, guys, so now we're going to look at the other hero, Jared. So you got Bernard, the Exploiter. I put that in quotation marks for a reason. Catch my drift. So, this guy's got a big story about him. Bernard don't. Jared does. As you can see, he recruits the bravest soldiers for the king. He works as a human resources officer. The selected young soldiers. Okay. Um, he is in... His troop training speed's 5%, and his troop training amount's plus 100. So, that's really good to maybe switch to him whenever you're, uh... I don't know yet if you can, like, switch to him, because he doesn't have, like... Like, you can't... Let's see. Like, what's his level? See, what I don't know yet, and they haven't made very clear, guys, is can you actually... Like, Bernard's for, uh, level 14. I used a lot of experience to get him up to 14. But is Jared also 14? Or is he just like an extra hero that I can also donate talent sets to? So, um, you know, that's uh, something to take into consideration. Um, talent. 
he's got talents as well. A lot of the same talents. They use the same trees. So here's the two. Let's see what Get More does. Okay, wow. You can um, recruitment card. HR officer. So they're probably going to be giving these away. You probably need 400 of these shards. So 20 times 400. Pretty expensive. Um, so about 5,000 gold or so. I, I'm not that great at math. So yeah, you can get more with those shards. So you need 6,000 recruit, recruitment card numbers. So they'll probably have events and stuff where you can get those. So that's uh, Jared, the other hero. Okay, guys. So I'm going to come out with a comprehensive guide on this in the next few days. I want to get to know it a little better. Um, this is just all going off the cuff. I've only looked at it for a few seconds. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, hit my logo popping up on the screen right now. If you want to watch a giveaway video, go ahead and hit that ban and that tick video right there. They help support the channel, guys. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Teamwork makes dream work. Smash the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.